Hello guys and welcome to our tutorial. The next material I'm going to show you is the ramp shader. So um, how this works is um, is that it uses the gradient or ramps to determine things like color and transparency. So let me show you how um, this works in real life. If we, if we pick um, a sphere and just put it in there shader um, you can apply the ramp uh, shader by actually simply going to rendering uh, to the rendering menu it will be right here otherwise you can just go to um, light lighting and shading make sure you're in rendering okay go light and shading then assign new material it will be right here so those are your um, two options so um yep we're gonna assign from here no worries and um yeah, you've got your you've got your um, options. Okay, you, after you do that, you have your options, which will be color, transparency, incandescent. I can I can never pronounce this name right. Hey, um, you've got your, your specular shading, specular color, and specular roll off. So you've got all these menus that you can um, actually um, go through in your spare time and just play with them. So um, for now, what we're gonna look at is the color. Okay. And uh, on top of uh, what we've got here, the, which is the color, you've got um, different inputs, okay? We've, you, we've got uh, light angle, facing angle, brightness, normalized brightness. So these are your options. And uh, the, easier, the, the easiest to, to use, which you, you guys will probably understand easier, is um, facing angle. So let's pick um, that one. So if we... Um, if we click if we um, left click anywhere in this little uh, box left click will actually add uh, the specular okay so uh, let's say um, let's click on this one first then add uh, let's say blue okay let's say uh, we'll add the blue then um, we want to fade it off um, we want to fade it off to blue. Make sure the, uh, the left hand side it's usually the sides, okay? Then the right hand side will be the middle. Let me show you what, what I mean. So we want to fade it, fade it off to blue, and um, in the middle we want um, red. We want red, okay? Then we want red to, um, we want more blue than red, okay? We want the red to just want um, the blue to be on the sides which is left hand side and um, red to be in the middle and just sort of fade off you, you'll be able to see it using the material sample at the top if you've got my uh, uh, 2011 or yeah 2011 I think but um otherwise you can you won't see much using the the window on here so let's just go ahead and render it and uh, see what we're working with there you go. As you can see, it's got it's got blue around like away from the camera. You see the blue areas, but closer to the camera, like closer to the center, you see the red bit. So that's how it works. And on top of that, you can um, actually um, have the whole ramp shader here and just do it the way you you want to do it on here, like. And you can darken your your black your your blues and light brighten them up and yeah that's um that's uh pretty cool so um that's what we've got and uh on top of that you can um you can also change the let's let's try and change the background and see how that works out maybe we'll be able to see um to see more so just go to uh view um, camera 2 which is right about here then uh, environment Jeez. Um, just bear with me um, yep then we go to environment I haven't done that in a long time. Anyway, environment. Right now it's um, dark, so let's let's just brighten it out. Okay, 
Let's brighten it up. One white. And uh, let's just render it again and see how that works out. See? So we're able to actually see properly. It's like um, red in the middle, then fading into into blue and darker. You know? So that's um that's how you add uh, um that's how you add the the RAM shader. Okay? So if we go back to RAM shader menu, you can also um use the transparency. You can also use the transparency, which is a uh, Pretty much uh, slightly the same. Let me just uh, uh, let's see. My tutorials are never script, so I just know exactly what <laughs> what you guys need to learn. So if we go to transparency and just let's say we've got a window, guys, we've, th this can be uh, useful. Let's say you've got a car, or let's say you've got a building, right? In your scene, you've got a building that has a uh, wall windows. Okay, if you look at a window from a, from the, from an angle, like from the side, the glass becomes thicker and it becomes like darker. You won't be able to see what's inside. Okay, so if we um if we uh, if we add another node here and just make that um let's say make it uh, white. Okay make it like white like that then uh, the sides will be black as you as you would expect like that just render it there you go in fact let's uh, add a um, let's add a, a different background because yeah let's add a background um, Bush. Let's add the background and just uh, take off the grid. You get the idea, guys. So let's just go ahead and just render this and see how that comes out. There you go. You see, like. Um, around the sides it's darker in the middle it's more like uh, clear so that's a good example and um, that that should help you guys um, uh, perfect your scenes let's see if we take it that way it's a bit unrealistic yep that's a way to pretty much perfect your scenes. If you want the sides for depending on the on the angle to um to look darker, you can use it you can use the ramp shader. So it's a very useful tool guys. Make sure you learn to use it. And uh again, just just play with it and um see how that works out. You'll be able to um learn more things. And the other good uh, thing is a specular role. Okay, you can um sort of adjust the way you want it. Okay? You can sort of do a little graph kind of thing to make it um, to make it have your you pretty much you to make you guys have create your own gradient of how you want it to fade to fade to the specularity pretty much. So yeah, that's um our, our tutorial about um ram shader and um practice learn more and uh, let's go to the next tutorial. Thank you.